Hey, it's me, again, in Thailand, boiling, because the sun's out, and uh, excuse the attire, but it's so freaking hot. Um, so this video is going to be really brief, because I don't want to die of skin cancer, I don't want to get sunburned, and it's really hot, I want to go back in here where the air conditioning is ice cold. So I'll make this brief. She's back. Um, well, she, actually, she's been back for a long time but I've had lots of little things that I've had to try and fix and correct. So I've never actually had a video um, made of the car as she is now. So starting with the wrap, it's not Marrakesh Brown. Um, I forget the name of the brown. I'll put it in the description below. It's a wrap, um, in my opinion, honestly, it's 10 times better than Marrakesh Brown. The colors just pop. Um, you'll see it on the camera. The car's a little bit dirty in the moment because it keeps randomly downpouring because we're just at the end of the raining season. But the colour just pops. It's got flakes and pearl. Every angle you look at it, it's gold, it's brown, it's... I, I, I don't even know what you call it. It's just gorgeous. Wherever I go, people just go, wow, you know, look at the colour. Um, and I get compliments everywhere I go. Um, at the moment, I've got a few little issues with the wrap. It's gonna go back to the shop um, to get fixed, but that's neither here nor there. So what has changed? Besides the wrap, um, as you know from one of my other videos, I put a big brake kit on. Um, the offset of the wheels are causing issues. Um, this is as big of the brakes as I can put without messing around with spacers and making the wheels poke out even more than they already are. Now, I can't have the wheel poke out anymore. It's ridiculous, unless I put like an M3 body kit on it. Don't tempt me, don't tempt me. So um, this is how it's gonna be. I've just installed some new tires. Um, I put Hankook, uh, what was it, Evo 2s. They're the latest um, performance summer tire by Hankook. Uh, usually I go Michelin, but these are half the price and the reviews, they're pretty damn good. Um, and the kind of driving I'm doing, I'm not going on the track. It really is just a, a high speed to and from machine. And, and, and Thailand is just straight roads really, unless you hit the mountains. So they're perfectly, they're overkill actually for what it needs. Um, they're 215, 40, 17 inch front and rear. And that's right, I've got a four liter V8 with two 15s on the back, which does make things interesting, considering I've got no ABS and no traction control. Um, it's got a full MTEC 2 body kit, um, very hard to find. Um, I've got an M3, this is actually a real M3 side skirt. They fit sedans, which is very surprising. Um, this part here is very hard to find um, because they're all made for two door. So I had to find this on eBay, I'm going to be honest, the fit isn't perfect. It required a lot of time and money to get it to fit. And even after all the work that was put into it, I give it an 8 out of 10. Not too impressed. But, you know, from here, it looks great. Moving towards the back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of like it. It's kind of cute, right? It's got aerial and it does work. Um, I've got fairly new tail lights they're not perfect there's a little mark here but um it's very hard to find decent tail lights and this is as good as i can get and from a distance they look like new um i have i mean this may be considered overkill but this is an m3 evo wing um this is adjustable um now if i remember back in the day from when i was a child i remember when the evo came out and there was two or three settings on this. There was a Nürburgring setting, which is where this extends all the way up. And then there's the day-to-day -day setting, which is all the way down, which is why I got it on now. If it was all the way up here, it would look ridiculous. Um, I was worried about it not looking good, but actually I think it looks pretty good. New exhaust. Now the tips are a bit big, but this needed to be done. I'm going to cut in some footage of the exhaust system. I had a complete overhaul of the exhaust that was on here because the original exhaust systems, as I said in the uh, previous video, it was just 
two exhausts completely independent of each other all the way and the car was losing loads of sub 3000 rpm power you had to rev it to the moon and when it's got a four speed gearbox and you're driving in town it just felt slow and sluggish um, that is no longer a problem this thing now pulls like a monster it is very torquey very smooth and very responsive um, this has got to be one of the most responsive cars i ever had the, the throttle I mean, it's a cable, it's not, it's not a drive-by-wire, it's a cable throttle, and it's just really, s s not snatchy, that's not the right word, it's very responsive, I like that. Um, moving on to the inside, now, the inside is not great, it's got a lot of work and needs to be done, but the front is starting to get there, and I'm going to show you that now, um, excuse the Beetlejuice mats. We have a genuine MTEC 2 steering wheel. That is hard to find. I had to import that from Germany, I think it was. It needs a, a retrim because, as you can see, it's very shiny, the lever. But other than that, it looks great. There's the R34 GTT gearbox. Not a huge fan. Um, there's arguments for and against having that in the car. I'm not going to go into that now, but it is a very strong gearbox. The Recaro seats, um, if you pan around this way, you better see them. These seats are sublime and they're in perfect keeping with the car. They fit, they, 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 it's like they were made for the car. They're very comfortable, they look so 80s, and this is a 1986 car. Um, you can sit in this all day long and it's like being, well, it's more comfortable than my chairs at home, which is quite funny really. Um, so that's where we are. There, the stereo's been updated. Um, I don't know if we can get in there. The original stereo wasn't Bluetooth. Um, it was very old. But I've managed to find a stereo that looks like it came from the 80s, but it's got Bluetooth. It's got all the modern things like USB so I can charge my phone. But if you look at it, come, come have a look at it. You can look at it straight there. Straight there. It doesn't look completely out of keeping with the rest of the car. You know, it does look kind of late 80s, early 90s. Um, so that's good. So I'm quite happy with that. And uh, I guess that's where we are right now. Um, the next step is to basically get right inside the car. I already showed the engine. Oh, come on, let's show off the engine. I mean, that's, that's its main feature, right? Yes, I could have put a 1JZ turbo or 2JZ turbo, but they're 100 pounds heavier. And to be honest, in a hot country, fuck, how do you do this again? Oh yeah. Whoops, did I just swear? You gotta love that ride, you open the other way around. Look at that bulletproof engine bulletproof it's one of the few engines that is actually faa approved for use in airplanes um if the cam belt snaps because it's a non-interference engine uh you're not screwed you just put a new belt on and off you go it, it, it's got a six bolt main it, it, it's it's completely bulletproof you got you got a bulletproof chassis and a bulletproof engine i mean world war three could break out and all the humans are gone and cockroaches are crawling around and this thing will still be bloody running. Um, that's the reason why I have this car. Um, if you look around to the front here, front of the engine bay, massive cooler there. And that works. The temperature, the water temps and oil temps are very low, even in this crazy heat, in horrible traffic. Uh, Aircon is ice cold and the temps never go anywhere near what my bike temperature gets to. I mean, my bike temp goes to like 105 Celsius and this only goes to 87. Um, it's great. So yeah, I mean, it, that's where we are now. Uh, there's a little modification that you probably may not have noticed before. Or maybe I mentioned it in the previous video, I'm getting old. But this hood has been modified to be higher it's been modded to be higher. Now you can ask yourself, why is that? 
maybe we'll find out in the future. Anyway, so that's how the car is now. Not finished. I've got a few mechanical things that I want to go over. I'm going to change the suspension to Bilstein, which unfortunately in Thailand costs twice as much as it does back home. But hey, that's the way it goes. You know, taxes and tariffs and all the rest of it with Asia and Europe. Um, but yeah, the car drives, it runs. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have more fun in this than I do in any of the F series BMWs. I'm talking the 33, <laughs> don't laugh at me, the 35D, F30, um, M3, M4, all, all the new F model BMWs. I hate them. This I love. I can't explain it. I have more fun in this than I do in a new BMW. So anyway, maybe I'm getting old or maybe cars are getting crap. You be the judge. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is how she stands now. Um, next video will be a bit more in-depth mechanically while I get some things changed. I'm not going to say what they are yet. I'll make it a surprise. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.